One of my most vivid memories of working as a journalist in Zimbabwe is what ultimately led to my uh, leaving the organization that I was working for. I worked uh, as a senior business reporter and part of my responsibilities included traveling on um, state visits with His Excellency at the time, President Robert Mugabe. And I had traveled with him on a trip to um, Kuwait, where Zimbabwe was going to negotiate for a credit facility to procure fuel. And that was unsuccessful. So I wrote about that. And obviously, the government was not pleased about it. And they made life difficult um, for the entire organization of Ziana. And it became uncomfortable for me and my colleagues at the time. And I took it upon myself to leave the organization so that the government could release funding because they were actually uh, holding on to funding for Ziana because Ziana was writing stories that did not align with the government mandate. The space has shrunk even further for journalists in Zimbabwe. In 2017, with the new regime that came in there was this expectation that there would be press uh, freedom but we don't see that and one of the factors that i observed to be particularly challenging for journalists in zimbabwe is the economic situation where there is so much poverty and this is compromising as well uh how journalists can um report on some issues and it makes them vulnerable uh their integrity is um is uh, is is compromised because sometimes they have to choose between um bread and butter literally and um journalism ethics Journalism is different now, and I'm very big on social media. I have a, a Facebook group where I share a lot of information about Zimbabwe with uh, women who live in Canada. And part of the mission with this uh, Facebook group is to get women engaged in um economic, uh, social, and uh, political issues, not only in Zimbabwe, but in Canada as well, just to create a space where women are comfortable and they are also appreciative of the diversity of views, trying to cultivate a democratic space. So you can call that Facebook group a newspaper. What is your advice to journalists in Zimbabwe and the government? My advice to journalists is would be to to be tactful, to be smart, and to also see how they utilize uh, social media and not entirely depend on the mainstream uh, newspapers and the radio and outlets like that. So being creative in how they utilize uh, social media, because at the end of the day, what you want to get out there is information. What we have seen with social media, again, is that you cannot suppress the voice of the people. to be tactful, to be smart, and to also see how they utilize uh, social media and not entirely depend on the mainstream uh, newspapers and the radio and outlets like that. So being creative in how they utilize uh, social media, because at the end of the day, what you want to get out there is information. What we have seen with social media, again, is that you cannot suppress the voice of the people. Um, what would be helpful to the government is to be as truthful and as accurate and as quick as possible with information because over and over again we are finding that people eventually will get to know the truth of the matter and government as well can use uh, social media effectively can work effectively with journalists to communicate their agenda